Corporate finance basically deals with how a firm implements its product market strategy. That is, what investments it should make, what's the cheapest way to do it, how to run the firm during the process. What this course in particular is going to deal with is valuation, which is one of the most important aspects, the most important areas of corporate finance. Even if you're not going to do valuation, even if you're not going to be a corporate finance, a finance specialist, it's important to know because you're going to have to deal with it. At any point in time, you're going to have to decide whether there's going to be additional investments made in your division, in your company, and somebody has to decide whether to make those investments or not, whether to go or not go. It's going to be a finance person that makes those decisions, and they're going to use criteria that we're going to teach you in this course to make those decisions. As an executive, you should be interested in doing this program because it will teach you how to think about corporate finance in the right way. You are often tasked with making decisions. In fact, as a manager in an organization, that is your job. The question is, are you making the right decisions or not? Or are you creating value or destroying value? And what this course will allow you to do is really take the decisions you make on a daily basis and apply it through those lens of value creation. As an employer, you should be very interested in sending your executives to such a program because it will create alignment in action. What that means is the CEO and CFO have a mindset that is very important, is very focused on the investors and how to create value for them. But many times within the organization, the employees don't necessarily share that mindset and don't even know what that means. So as they make decisions, they might be making it incorrectly. What this program will allow them to learn is how to think about value creation and decision making in a way that aligns the organization from employees to leaders to markets. I believe that this program gives you a lot of tools that are central in becoming more effective managers. I've seen in lots of executive education programs we do how important it is for people who are aspiring managers who are on a fast track to success to improve their knowledge of finance. Because if you think about it, the more you become in charge of people, in charge of projects in a firm, the more you have to make projections, you have to be on top of budgets, you really have to know how to back up the decisions and the investments and the growth opportunities you want to take advantage of in your firm by data. The higher you rise in the firm, the more actually you're competing for resources between divisions, between other people. And so that means, again, you have to back up all the proposals or all the projections that you make with real analytics. What I have seen is that whether you are a scientist who is becoming a top manager or whether you are an engineer or a manager who is rising through the ranks of your firm, you will find yourself more and more in positions where you have to make budget forecasts and where you have to compete for resources between divisions. And in those situations, it's not just how good you are at convincing somebody. Really, it becomes important that you can back up your arguments with projections and with real capital budgeting. Thank you.